Hi, my name is Maya. What's yours? I like your name. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a little boy, his parents, and his grandpa. Watching how his parents treated his grandpa taught him a lesson. And then, Trevor taught his parents a lesson. Do you want to hear about what they learned? Great! Let's get started. Pap! Trevor's mom yelled. Look what you've done! My new tablecloth is ruined! Trevor looked at his grandpa. The old man's hands shook, and he hung his head in shame. A few drops of bright orange soup dribbled out of his mouth and down his chin. I can't take this anymore, the angry woman told her husband. He's ruining everything. The next morning at breakfast, Trevor's grandpa was not sitting with the family at the table. Where's grandpa? Trevor asked. Turning his head, he saw him sitting in the corner. Grandpa's bowl of oatmeal was on a tray table in front of him. He seemed to be shaking more than ever. Trevor picked up his own breakfast and went to join his grandpa. Get back here, Trevor, his mother said. Sit at the table and eat your breakfast with the family. But I want to eat with Grandpa, he said. Sit down, his mother repeated. Trevor obeyed his mother and ate his oatmeal in silence. When his mother passed a dish with his favorite pastry on it, Trevor pushed it away. May I be excused? Crash! Everyone turned to look. The tray table was on its side and the bowl was broken. Oatmeal was splattered everywhere. Not another broken bowl, Trevor's mother cried. That's it! We have to buy plastic bowls for you, she screamed at her father-in-law. Act like a baby and we'll treat you like one. That night, Trevor's father came home from the store with plastic bowls and cups for his father. Day after day, the old man sat alone in the corner, eating and drinking out of plastic bowls and cups. There were no more broken dishes. One evening before dinner, Trevor's father saw his little boy sitting on his bed with a small pile of coins. His piggy bank was empty. What are you doing? his father asked. Counting my money, Trevor said. What for? I need to see if I have enough money to buy some plastic dishes. His mother peeked her head in the door. Whatever for? she asked. I need to start buying plastic dishes for you and Daddy, so when you're old, you won't break any of my dishes. I don't want you to ruin my things when I grow up. Trevor's mother looked at his father and started to cry. She ran out of the room and down the hall to her father-in-law's room. She walked over to him and kissed him on the cheek. I'm so sorry for the way I've treated you, Pap. Will you forgive me? A tear spilled out across the old man's cheek. 
Come, she said to him, reaching out her hand for his. Dinner's ready. That night, the family ate together at the dining room table and for every meal after that. Everyone ate from the good china, and when Grandpa spilled something on the tablecloth, instead of yelling at him, Trevor's mother simply wiped it up and smiled. Trevor's parents didn't know how badly they were treating his grandpa, but when Trevor planned to treat them the same way, suddenly they understood. When we treat people the way we want to be treated, everyone is happier. <laughs>